Shields up FPV. Thanks for a $5 super chat. I'm trying to help someone out. Every time he sets up OSD in Betaflight, saves and plugs in the battery, his OSD elements revert back to the center of the screen. Ooh, this is a tough one. Um, shields up. I am going to guess that you... So uh, let's go. Let's go to Betaflight configurator. Hang on. Yeah, no, that's right. That's the screen. I am gonna guess. This is just a guess. Uh, Shields up FPV. What video transmitter are you using? Blunty, can you keep an eye out for that answer and and pin it if he if he says it? Thank you. Um, I am gonna guess that you're using the Vista with. Uh, WTFOS. And the reason I'm going to guess that is because the solution I'm going to propose requires that. I'm going to guess that what you're doing is you're setting up your OSD using HD Canvas. No crap. It would work though. Oh, man. Oh, I thought I had it. Now I'm not so sure. So the place I'm going with this is that some video transmitters, specifically the Vista with WTFOS, have the ability to communicate to the flight controller the canvas size. And I wonder if what's happening is when you plug in, your video transmitter powers up and it says that your canvas size is different. Uh, is it canvas? Yes. Set OSD canvas width equals 100. Nope. I typed it wrong. I always do that. I don't know why. 63. Okay, fine. Equals 63. Set OSD canvas height equals, what's the max for that one? 31. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the canvas width and height. And when we power up Betaflight, and if we enable the HD canvas, there we go. If we enable the HD canvas, now we have a canvas width and height of you know 63 by 31 or whatever I told it it was. But as soon as I plug in a, a Cadex Vista with WTFOS, the Vista will say, my actual canvas width and height is X and Y, and this will reset. But then why wouldn't it be correct in the first place? Okay, 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 okay. Let's think this through. Oh, man, I'm just making this up, though. I don't even know if you're using a Vista, to be honest with you. Has Shields Up FPV has not answered yet, unfortunately. I mean, I, I have a question that, uh, along that guess. line. Yeah. If you're using a Vista and it automatically sets the canvas through WTFOS, does it save that canvas in Betaflight, or does it change every time? Like you disconnect that Vista. Do you know what I mean? I like, don't is it know. resetting the canvas size in Betaflight? Okay, okay, hang on, hang on. This is interesting enough to spend a, a minute on it. Hold on one second. Oh, let's see. I'm gonna need a battery. Ah, ah. Okay, so I have a quadcopter here. This is a Vista with WTFOS on it. The Vista is powered down. What I'm going to do is I'm going to plug it in. Okay, this is my actual quadcopter with my actual OSD. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to presets and I'm going to back up my CLI just in case I screw this all up. Okay. Uh, he just said it's analog. Okay, we'll go. We'll no. go back to the question. Is that right, Plenty? Yes, he did. Yep. Okay, we'll go back to the question in a second. But I, I'm curious about this, so I want to check this out. So here in the CLI is the canvas width and height. This is the correct value for WTFOS. If I screw this up, like how would this get screwed up? Maybe I paste in a CLI dump from a different quadcopter. And I don't realize that the canvas width and height are uh, are specific to the VTX. So I'm going to screw this up. Uh, 
I'm going to set it to 20 by 40, which is the wrong values. Now I'm going to save it. Now when I come back, my OSD will be all screwed up. Now one of the things you're going to see is that it did not push the elements to the center of the screen like he described. It pushed them to the edge of the screen. But my OSD is screwed up. Okay? Now if I power up the quadcopter, what's going to happen? Wait for the wait for the Vista to wake up. I'm going to wait for green LED on the Vista and it wakes up. Still no green LED on the Vista. Green LED on the Vista. What if I change screens? Oh, boom! The Vista, what? I don't even know what happened there. It, it has reset, though. It has clearly reset. It's now it's not doesn't look right either. Let's go to the CLI. Has the CLI been updated? Yes. The CLI has been updated to 60 by 22. So Blunty, what we have learned here is that when the VTX supports MSP communication, the VTX will communicate the width and heights to the flight controller and the flight controller will update the CLI dump. If I disconnect and reconnect, I bet it's all correct. No, it's screwed up again. Whoa. It didn't. Oh, there's more going on here. No, look. Now it's right. It's Well, it's not right, though. It was. Do you think 50, it's just the display that's doing that? Or do you think it's. You know, I mean, don't like know. it's just a bugged display in the configurator? Because it's the, set on HD. I would bet it's still working. I would have to pull the goggles out to know. Yeah. That's a good point. Also, it was original. What was it originally? Was It, it was not 60 by. It's a good thing I see it. It's a good thing I backed up my configuration. Oh, no, I was originally. Yeah. It was originally 60 by 22, but it is 53 by 20 now. Where did that come from? So maybe somebody suggested in chat, you have, maybe you have to save it. So does it only apply? You know what I mean? We're seeing the CLI because it changes it actively in the FC, but yeah. it doesn't do a save command, so it doesn't save it, right? Here it's 20 by 40, which is the bad values. Let me look. I got This is so interesting. But, it, but if you flip back to, like you did yeah, yeah. before, if you flip back to NTSC and then back to HD, does it get bigger again? But I have to know. Hang on. If it's showing in the know. goggles. Yeah, it, yeah, what is showing in the goggles? Yeah. Okay, sorry guys. This is now we're in Joshua Explores and Learns. This is not the best live stream content, but I'm kind of dying to know the answer. Wait, one, just bear with me for one second. Is it screwed up in the goggles? That's the next question. Well, it's coming. It's coming. I actually have kind of wondered about this and never actually dug into it. And of course, the original question was for analog, so this is completely irrelevant. Yeah, uh, well. The goggles are correct. Are showing the goggles are that's fascinating. So the goggles are showing this. No, let me go back. Yeah, and you forth. Gotta, yeah. yeah. So the goggles are showing this, but what I don't okay. understand is. This isn't right either, though, because originally it was correct. Hang on. Two more minutes. 53 by 20 is also not correct. It should be 60 by... Okay, so what happens then if I paste back in this CLI dump? Uh... I shouldn't even need to paste the whole seal I dump in, but okay. Okay, well, I'm going to power down. I'm going to power cycle the quad. I shouldn't even need to paste to do the whole seal I dump. I should just need to do the width and the height. Seal I width and height to what it was, which is, I think was correct 60 by 22. No, 60 by 22 is too big. It's actually the 50, what the hell? How did this ever work? I think you set, am I confused? Maybe you set the 50 to show, or 60 to show no. him? I set 40, okay. 40 and 20 as the incorrect okay. values. Gotcha. 
But before that, before you did the CLI dump, when you were explaining the problem, and maybe I missed that. Maybe no, I, I don't that. think I, I think I sit dump. Okay. No, that was on my other flight controller. Oh, right. Sure enough. Okay. No. 60 by 20 is wrong. Okay. So then once again, sorry, live stream, bear with me. 60 by 22, 53 by 20 is correct. So it is, it's overwriting equals 53. Let's set it to 53 by 22. What the dickens? Once again, I... Oh my god. I got I, I bet you okay. All right, I don't want to dick with this anymore. I I've seen this before and I don't know the answer. I thought maybe today would be the day I figured out the answer. Where the configurator shows the wrong canvas size and the value that's coming in is also wrong. So now it says 53 by 20, but the OSD it page is not showing a 53 by 20 canvas. I think there's a bug here and I don't know what it is. What I'm seeing in the goggles does correctly match what I see here, but this is not a 53 by 20, I don't think, canvas. Anyway, so this is screwed up. Let's, uh, let's, I, I'm sorry we didn't have a great answer there. We've wasted everybody's time for 10 minutes and we're going to go back and try and answer the question. So, <laughs> continuing the live stream. I'll have to play with that more later. Um, what could cause OSD elements to revert back to the center of the screen on an analog build? On an analog build. If stuff is off the edge of the screen, it won't go to the center. Try manually setting NTSC and PAL. Make sure you're on the latest configurator. Could you have an old version of the configurator where it's not showing the elements correctly? The Chris only FPV says I have the I same... Make... Go ahead, go ahead, Blunty. Sorry, the only shot I can make out there is just it's possible that uh, it's like an OSD chip issue with 4.4 builds or something. Maybe it's like, mm. you know what I mean? Because the OSD chip is auto-detected. So but that's the only the thing I can think of. Shouldn't the configurator show what it thinks the OSD elements should be? Yeah, I'm just wondering if somehow it like mm. reverts when he powers up again and it redetects, you know? Yeah. But yeah, I have no, no idea. Yeah. Uh, email me, jb at joshuabardwell.com, and we'll try and figure it out. I can't think of a, a thing that would cause them to jump back to the center of the screen, though. Yeah. All right. Try manually setting NTSC and PAL. Uh, 